Hey, hey, we're on, we're on. Hello, my name is Christian Grotto. And I'm Wilden Bruce. Today on Wildcats Bi-Weekly, we will be covering the Scholastic Hosted Book Fair, which made its yearly debut earlier this month, along with yesterday's middle school and high school pep rally, today's elementary pep rally, this past week's Spirit Week, as well as an overview of the college French class's self-introductions to their college French pen pals at Lake George High School, and a recent field trip that juniors and seniors took to SUNY Plattsburgh, and finally, the current sports season update. Two weeks ago, the Scholastic Hosted Book Fair came to Scroon Lake with a wide array of potential reading material. Here's Scroon Lake videography student Afnan with more information. All right, hello everyone. So we are at the Scholastic Book Fair. I'm here with... Peyton Phillips. And what grade are you in, Peyton? I'm in sixth grade. Right. So what book did you pick today? I picked Pig the Tourist. And why'd you pick, why'd you pick this book? I picked it because it looks very interesting and it looks very funny because the cover looks like a dog that is doing something very funny and it's just, it just looks interesting, so that's why I picked it. And how do you feel that you can just stay in your school and be able to buy books and have the book fair come to you? I feel great how it's many books that kids can read and how many people can buy things and it helps the school and I just love, it's really cool to get things that makes kids happy. So. All right, well, thank you for your time, Payne. It was You're nice welcome. talking to you. Thank you, too. Yesterday, the Student Council hosted a middle and high school pep rally to get students hyped up for the girls' upcoming home game. Students were given the opportunity to play musical chairs, participate in a scavenger hunt, as well as a varsity soccer shootout. The pep rally was wrapped up with a middle and high school dodgeball tournament. In turn, the Student Council hosted a similar pep rally for the elementary students earlier today. The college French class has a, has a pen pal program with the Lake George High School through SUNY Albany. They create videos to communicate with each other from school to school, and this is their recent video. Okay, maintenant voici les réponses à vos questions. Alec vient de Albany. Taylor a Canadian, comme Madame Martino. Jessica a Taylor of Madras. Jessica a Simpa. Antonio a Genial. Tous les étudiants ont dit ça en sauf à B et Taylor. Et vous, où est-ce que vous voudrez voyager et pourquoi? Last Wednesday, the juniors and seniors had the opportunity to take a field trip to SUNY Plattsburgh. Here, they were given a thorough tour of the SUNY Plattsburgh campus, as this included also a tour of the campus as well as any courses that they offered. After this, the students were able to dine in one of the college's many dining halls. After this, they went to a college fair in which many colleges from around the Northeast were representing themselves. And here is Ethan Phillips with your sports update. The girls varsity and girls modified faced Crown Point on October 7th, and it resulted in the girls varsity winning 6-2 and girls modified also winning 9-0. On October 8th, the boys varsity won against Crown Point with a final score of 4-1. The girls modified played the same day against Schadsburg with the girls modified winning 3-0 under the lights. On October 9th, the boys varsity had a close game with Boquette with, but were defeated 3-2. On October 11th, the boys varsity and boys modified both played Shazy. The modified beat Shazy 3-1 and boys varsity who tied 1-1, the half lost 4-1 at the end. The girls varsity and girls modified both had games October 13th and gets Johnsburg Minerva, girls modified 1-2-1 and girls modified with a close game tied 1-1 going into overtime with Scroon Lake girls winning 2-1. Last night, the girls modified team won their last game versus Willsboro, making them undefeated. The boys also won their Johnsburg Minerva game on Wednesday, which makes them undefeated as well. Their last game is in Willsboro today. Thank you for watching. That's all the sports we have now. That's all for now, folks. Please join us on Friday, October 29th for our special Halloween segment of Wildcats Bi-Weekly. Thanks for watching.